development out here. In fact, for the past hour and a half or so, we've been bringing you the coverage. In fact, we were showing you maybe about 30 minutes ago the bullet holes that were right here in the front door of the Oakmont Apartments. You can actually see them right here. When we were showing you this just about 30 minutes ago, there was a gentleman who was actually parked just over here off to the side. He tells me he was waiting here to pick up his friend, and we talked to him a little bit more. It seemed to find out that he fit the description of the shooter who opened fire on police from what we had heard from Detroit police late last night. Now, talking to him a little bit further, he continued to make phone calls, and that guy wasn't coming out of the building. And that's when he found out that it was actually his friend that was shot and killed by police after he opened fire on police. Listen to the conversation that we just had with that man. Do you know him to be a violent man? Do you know any reason that he would be against police? No, I never heard seen him do anything like that. I mean, he keeps to himself sometimes. He's pretty well, works well with other people. I mean, I haven't seen nothing that would make him go, lose his temper. Now Edwin, who you just heard from, obviously in pure shock at just the idea that his friend was shot and killed. He said he had never known anybody that had been shot and killed, and he didn't understand what was happening. He was trying to explain that it sounded like police were here for somebody else, and that's when his friend got involved. Now, we can tell you that police were originally coming out here for a domestic violence call. Two officers, a 14-year veteran and a six-month veteran of the force, came to this very door, and when they knocked on it, that's when police say that someone opened fire on him. Apparently, Edwin's friend that you just heard about. Now, there is the possibility that there's a lot of information that police can glean just from what's over here. What you're taking a look at is actually a security camera that would have been pointed directly at the door. We don't have any way of knowing just yet whether or not that video is available or if it was working at the time that the shooting actually happened. But obviously, police have a lot of questions as to what the motive is, as did that friend that we just spoke with to the suspected gunman. One thing we know police really want at this time is to find out who initially called 911 that drew police to this location. We're told that it was a female, and they are looking for her right now, but police do not think that she's connected to that gunman at this time. We're live in Detroit this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Matthew, what do we know about the shooter? Uh, so far, from what we heard from Edwin, uh, it sounds like he's a guy that works in the Romulus area and that he was going to bed in about an hour away from the time that the shooting actually happened. He called Edwin at about 10 o'clock last night. We're told the shooting happened around 1030 last night. So we know that at, la at that time, he was expecting to go forward and get picked up for work and do everything as normal. Police are telling us that that man is between the ages of 40 and 45. We do have a name, but we're not releasing it at this time until we can confirm that through police. Of course, once we do that, we'll bring you the update right here and on WXYZ.com.